All right. I just built this system about two weeks ago. I've added another regular hard drive. The solid state is just for operating system and programs only. I'll put my storage on uh, one internal hard drive. If I need more, I can dock SATA drives all day long. Um, I was running out of USB keyboards, so I like these new little slim keyboards. Nine dollars ninety-six cent. Soft key, very thin. I like it. But here's going to be the challenge. I got that amount of space, one PCI slot, and I'm going to try to install this bad boy right here. EVGA 550 GTX. This thing is a monster. Is it going to fit? I'll be awful pissed if it don't. It's going to fit with room to spare. Just hope my caddy goes back in or I'll never get the system back together. Let's do some prep work, move some wires, and see if we can get this sucker in there. Well, I can't believe it ate the whole thing. I can't believe it fit. There she is, all snug and on. Wires nicely routed. Everything fit back into the bay, snugly. Nothing's too tight. Running, well, listen for yourself. This is a super sensitive mic. This is all the noise to a box fan. Four gig of memory. Solid state drive. Blu-ray, that new monster, it takes up two PCI slots, micro ATX form factor, and AMD 6-core Phenom with Shuttle's proprietary cooling system, which I have always loved. Install some drivers. Now let's get doing some gaming. All happy and put back together without a hitch. And very proud to wear that little badge right there. Total cost to build about $800. Not bad for a top-of-the-line machine. 